Hey everyone, it's been a while. Uh, it's Angie and Jenny Lee here, the Nourish Your True Self team. And yeah, Angie, it's been a while since we made a video, eh? It really has. We've been we've been hopping busy. I'll tell you what, it's because we're seeing people a lot of nights a week, and it really is quite um, wonderful. It's quite wonderful. Yeah, it is really, really wonderful. And uh, but we're excited to come on tonight because Angie has. An announcement and I have been anxiously awaiting to tell the world um, uh, what you've done Angie and so just take it away brag away lady I am gonna brag because it take a year it took a year and a half and thousands of dollars and I can't even count the number of hours but I've been working towards a certification and I just finished it and I'm gonna flash my certification and then I'll talk because I can't do both okay Certified Intuitive Eating Counselor, and ah! Cordwell. Yeah! So it's totally and completely official. I get to be on the um, original Intuitive Eating Pros list serve. So you can like search me up and I'm on the interwebs, like amazing stuff internationally. So people have looked in France, they've gone on the internet to look for people and found them on this listserv. So now I get to be on there. Um, so for folks who don't know about intuitive eating, let's flash our books. Oh, this yeah. is my old, my old version. And Jenny Lee has the new version. Um, intuitive eating is something that I've been teaching people for a really long time. It's yeah. Uh, it's from the 90s that makes me sound old but it's not that long ago um and uh i've been i've been counseling people for a really long time but not officially being able to be certified so being able to have this certification is really important to me so people can find me when they're looking for this specifically yes so uh two two things angie first um i need you to tell us what intuitive eating is and what it means and i also need to say Coincidentally, I wasn't thinking about it when I did it today, but on our social media pages, I've actually posted by a 15 Instagram people that do intuitive eating and health at every size. And so you're amongst those folks now. Now, some of them aren't registered like you are, but they do similar work to what we do. We just have the bonus of actually having you certified um, as an intuitive eating counselor. So tell us a little bit about what the heck intuitive eating is sure so um intuitive eating is it started um so the authors uh evelyn triboli and elise reish um they started uh, one is an a uh, dietitian and one is a psychotherapist and they started understanding that they were trying to help people with nutrition and weight and they were doing what we're taught to do which is essentially you know control calories to try to control your body um, and then they started realizing five and ten years later the same people would come back and and need the same stuff because they thought something was wrong with them or they did something wrong and they started to recognize oh crap we're not doing anything different than diet culture we just seem like we're better at it or it's more healthy um, so they said no let's let's garbage that and it really is for a lot of people who think oh my gosh intuitive eating it's just a free-for-all and then now nothing matters that's absolutely not the case but it gives people a, it gives people a good alternative if they're ready to give up and say i'm tired of diet culture i know that that doesn't work trying to control my body in that way doesn't work and trying to look outside of myself to decide what's good for me is not useful. So this is a way to reconnect with yourself and your body. Uh, uh, they talk about interceptive awareness so that you're aware. I know when I have to go pee. I know when I'm hungry. I know when I have to sleep and being able to start trusting that your body tells you those things and you can listen and respond appropriately. And then there are 10 principles to help you to help guide you through the process. But it's not like a Oh, principle number one, check. Principle number two, check. It's an ongoing process that we would do for a really long time. So it's really um, making peace with food, figuring out how you feel hungry, figuring out how you feel full. What does satisfaction mean? And recognizing that this is the way to nourish a body for health. And the way we say it is for whole self health. So it's, it aligns perfectly with all the stuff that we do. 
Yeah. And I think one thing that I want to point out, um, when I was posting on social media today, I made a point of saying that intuitive eating really is a revolutionary approach to getting out of kind of yo-yo dieting that, 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 the well, it's an anti-diet approach to life about how we learn to trust our bodies and listen to our bodies and feed it and eat what tastes good and, and learn um, that comfort eating is okay when we know um, that we're doing it. And, and all of these things that um, are so important to nourishing our whole self-health. And I need to say that um, Noom doesn't actually teach intuitive eating. Neither does Gwyneth Paltrow, by the way, because it's a big buzzword now and it's been right. around for 20 some odd years now. Um, so, so there are good studies showing that intuitive eating is very, very helpful in terms of health outcomes. So the diet culture, of course, wants to steal it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, I, I appreciate that they, I think a lot of them think that they're doing it and it really is not the same. So, you know, check your sources. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what I was just going to say. Check your sources, right? That um, is that any word or, or if you chat with us or met with us, we'll talk about the foods that throughout time have been good and now they're terrible. And, and it's kind of the same with language, right? And so when you hear the words intuitive eating, I guess part of this is we want you to, yeah, check your resources, check in and see, um, is it actual intuitive eating or is it buzzword being flipped around and marketed really well? To have you believing that you're trying a revolutionary approach to anti-dieting but actually my question to people when they say well how do I know if it's intuitive eating or not I say well what is the goal of the program or the app um, that you're picking up yeah and if the answer weight. is to lose weight well, or then to it's change not, your body or to change your body it's not intuitive eating and so I'm just so proud of you, Angie. I'm glad you were able to finish it quicker than we thought you were because of the lockdown and some of the time you had to do it. I'm just so excited we're able to bring uh, this to our team. I feel super grateful that I get to work with a certified intuitive eating counselor and that you're on a big uh, list of big wigs. Um, and there's not really that many of you, actually. Not um, in Canada. No. There really isn't. No. Yeah, that are certified. So congratulations, Angie. Um, I know that the folks we work with will be super excited to know this. And uh, yeah, I'm super proud of you, lady. And we look forward to bringing you uh, more videos, more knowledge, and uh, maybe even some more chats in the future about intuitive eating. Let us know if you got any questions or if you're curious about it or looking for some resources or if we flash the book too fast and you want to know more about it. You can find us on Facebook. Instagram or YouTube, all of those by searching our name, Nourish Your True Self. Thanks for joining us today. Congrats, Angie!